So now let's start with something uh, that you should have learned back in algebra one. Now, this is uh, saying negative two X is less than 10. So what do you need to do? Divide each side by negative two. So therefore you will write down X is greater than negative five, okay? Why do we need to flip the sign? Whenever you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to flip the sign, right? Why? It's the rule. It's what your teacher told you. So you followed without asking why, and you're okay with it. Come on. Cannot be okay with this. You've got to ask like, why? Okay, like one thing that I would say this, uh, if you go on the airplane, it's a perfect illustration of how we shape this uh, human society. They just tell you to do stuff. All right, please put your uh, back underneath the chair, please. They never tell you why you should do it. So good luck figuring it out. And for those who don't know why, well, they would go, they would go ahead and violate the rule. So if you don't know the why, then chances are there is a chance that you will forget to flip the sign eventually. So to help you understand the why, and by the way, I'm putting money into your pocket. If you know all these why, you can become a math tutor in the future. And being a math tutor is good because a lot of people, they need math tutor, easy money too. Would you agree that five is greater than negative two? Yeah? Okay, so what kind of statement can we call this? This is a true statement. So let's go ahead and write down true. This is uh, definitely true right here. So now, assuming that we do not know that we have to flip the sign, okay? Just pretend that we don't know we have to flip the sign. And we're gonna multiply both sides by negative one. So five becomes negative five and negative two becomes two, and since we pretend that we don't know that we need to flip the sign, we keep the sign the same. And then it sets negative five is greater than two. Negative five, it's greater than two. And what kind of statement is this? False statement, right? So this is total nonsense. Negative five, it's not bigger than two. So in order to keep the statement true, what should we do? That's the reason why we flip the sign because if not, there's no true relationship here. So when we multiply by a negative one or divide by a negative number, any negative number, not just negative one, multiply or divide by a negative number, we are negating the numbers and also we are negating the relationship. So I hope that from today and on, you, just, you don't just say, oh, why do I flip the sign? Because my teacher told us to. We flip the sign because it has to be, or else it will result in a false statement. Okay, so, and how do we express this on a number line? So somewhere along the line, you can write down negative five, open circle or closed circle? Open, because we are not including negative five. And, now, I'm not sure about you. I was mentally challenged when I was learning uh, inequality. I always wondered, like, so which side do I highlight? Do I highlight the left or do I highlight the right hand side? I was trying to figure out the pattern. And then I realized that I was so stupid because I can just say it out loud, just translate this notation, this inequality notation out loud with a complete sentence. And I would say X is greater than negative five. So guess what? We are highlighting the, the right-hand side, right? So, so um, okay. Did your memory come back? I hope so too, okay. So it's really easy and we will go ahead and use some of these, uh, uh, some of this today. 
Uh, we'll do some uh, number line graphing and then uh, do some notations as you can see down below. Okay.